What up, Huck Squad? Here's five winter disc golf tips in 90 seconds. Tip number one is to stand still a lot more often than you normally would. You're going to sacrifice a little bit of power, but you're going to add a ton of consistency. If you need to do a run-up, you can pat down the snow for the couple feet before your lie to make it a little bit easier. Tip number two is to power grip more often than you would fan grip. When you're fan gripping in the snow and in the wet conditions, you lose your grip really easily. So for me personally, I can't really be throwing putters in the snow and in the wet conditions when I really can't get a good grip on it. Tip number three can be two-sided. I use carpenter's chalk. Some people use ribbons and you tape a nice crafting ribbon to the bottom, but with ribbons it adds a little bit of drag and it adds a little bit of weight. But I personally prefer carpenter's chalk and I'll show you why. Make sure the surface of your disc is a little bit wet where you're applying the chalk. See where the red snow is? And it makes it easy to track your disc, just like that. Whenever there's a big snowstorm, you either want to shovel the tee pads or play from the side of the tee pad. You do not want to play on top of a tee pad that has fresh snow on it. Every footprint it turns into hard packed ice and it's much harder to shovel. And tip number five, the last tip, is to throw more hyzer flips. When you're standing still, when you don't have as much power as normal, you need to throw less stable to get as much distance as you're normally used to. Hope these winter tips helped you out. Now get out there and keep playing all year round.